Hey guys, Steve here. Just wanted to jump on and do a quick video. It's like a how-to video, I guess. Um, you know, because I know most of you, like me, <laughs> run into problems where, you know, maybe your emails are hitting a spam folder or your emails may be hitting a promo tab or you just can't come up with ideas fast enough in order to uh, do your emails or, you know, you're kind of tired of buying all of these regurgitated emails that you know as soon as you copy them word for word and put them into your autoresponder they're going directly into the spam folder why why because millions of other people have those same emails and they're just loading them in there as well well that's where i think chat gtp can really help us out in this and um it's free so all you got to do is go to uh what is this uh, search chat gtp right so let's do it for instance chat chat gpt and it'll pull up here and you just click here and uh, create your free account, log in or whatever. It looks like there's two, I only click on this one. Yeah, this one, maybe it's the same. I don't know, I'm new to this, right? So you just log in, <clears throat> I've already have an account and um, you click your uh, sign in with email, I guess, uh, my Gmail. And then, uh, doo -doo -doo -doo, which account, which account, which account, I'll go here. I block that out because that's all my emails. I'm putting all my e emails out there. But uh, you click that and my computer. Ooh, I didn't click it. My computer, when it finally wants to log in, it'll log in. You know what I mean? So, <clears throat> so okay. So, check it out. <clears throat> so, anyway. So, let's. So basically, what I do is, <clears throat> or what I'm going to start doing and what I was playing around with is, let me jump over to my email. So, in my email, I have all, I have, Every email that I get, I, I categorize it into some, some individual folder. And I guess I can show you how to do that real quick too, right? So what I do is I, I click on an email that I want, and then I just create a label, Lago here, and I hit filter message like this. And what I do is it'll filter the, the message based on the email address. Um, so I hit filter messages. You know, maybe my email's going to, I don't know what's going on here. Oh, it's trying to do chat deep. For some reason, my internet is slow as, slow as heck today. Oh, let me close this because I don't need him. Let's go back to here. And um, anyway, you would just hit filter message like that. And then you, oh, it's loading. It's slow as hell. Um, it's loading. So basically, it's going to find any, uh, any, any message with this email address. I'm going to hit create filter. And then I'm going to, I'm going to say apply the label and I'm going to, you know, create the label that I want by hitting new label, call it what you want. Right. And basically you can hit parameters like you want to skip the inbox, which I do and automatically pull it over here. And then I go through it as I, you know, keeps my email decluttered and everything into a, into a folder, right? It makes it easier to find. So if I want to check on my accelerate, stuff here i just click, click here but anyway you just click skip the inbox um you apply the label you can hit never send to spam so you can help help us fellow marketers out and not send our stuff to spam like never send to spam right and then after you set all your other filters just another filter i put in here um never mark this bird no and apply and also apply filter to other man matching messages so then it'll go through your whole inbox. Anything with that email address, it'll just put it into whatever folder label that you created, which is pretty cool. Helps you keep you organized and everything. Like I said, everything comes in here. So my Club Cash Fund, I click here. I can see all my emails from Club Cash Fund, you know, all separated out. My List Infinity, my uh, Legendary Marketer, you know, whenever I get a commission to the pop there or I even Accelerate. Um, all my accelerate congratulations and my team's growing and all of that that goes here so that's just a way to separate it out okay back to the <laughs> back to the lesson at hand so um so okay so here we go so let's try this email so i sent all my emails from my autoresponder they automatically come to me too so i just save them in a folder separated like segmented how i showed you and this is gmail so then let me show you we go here we go to chat gtp and say I want to make a some subject lines, right? <clears throat> so I'll take this subject line right here, and it says I was right, and that's not good for you. 
and I'll go to chat GTP and I'll say, um, I'll say, uh, rewrite, uh, this email subject. I hate when people type <laughs> and talk with their typing this subject line in a, <laughs> you know, oh man, drives me crazy, but I do it witty way. So basically you put it in a descriptive way. So there's witty, there's persuasive, there's mean, there's, you know, uh, ugly. I mean, any adjective you can put there and then put the, uh, uh, then put the subject line that you want to recopy or rewrite, right? So that's the one. Oops. That's not that. That was something else from earlier. So let's try this again. Rewrite this subject. I'm doing it again. <laughs> line in a witty way. And then let's go back here and copy and paste that here. Copy this. Control C. Go back to chat GTP T and control V. So now I just recopy that there and I hit enter. And what it does is it says, I hate to say I told you so, but my crystal ball nailed it. Brace yourself. That's a good one. That's a good one. So that's a rewrite of this, right? So now let's say, uh, how about this? Uh, write five more examples, right? So I'll hit that and then it gives me five more examples of rewriting that um, that subject line right here. OK, so that's an easy way. And these subject lines, you know, why not use them? They're unique to you. Pop them in, see what they do. See how it works. Right. Because it's unique to you. Why? Because it's based off of whatever whatever subject line you told them to rewrite. Right. So chat chat GPT. OK, so that's one way. Now, how about an email body? How about we need an email body? So let's go back to this email and we want to copy this email body and see see what we can come up with from that rewrite, right? So let's go to chat GTP and I'm gonna say rewrite body in a in a uh let's see back witty way. So and then I'm going to Paste the email body there. Rewrite this email body in a witty way. Yeah, and then um, go enter. So basically that's what I had. Now it says subject, unleash the madness, bonus is still up for grabs. Now it just wrote me a whole email that I can technically, and it even says claim, you know, it puts it right here where I can put the link. You know, I could put the recipient's name. It gives me a whole different subject line that I could also use. So that's sweet. And then it even has a place for your name. But that's how you can always have something to write in an email, have something to put in an email, and never have your emails be the same thing as all your other downline. Also, I mean, if you want to get your hustle on, you take some emails that you have already, you run them through chat GTP, and you can offer those new emails as a bonus to your downline. You can put them in a package and sell them online for unique emails, you know, in this affiliate marketing space. You can do anything you want, right? But that's a, that's a clear way that you could make some extra money off of that also, you know? So uh, let's try this again with some other stuff. So let's say, uh, how about this? Re, because we, we, you can use adjectives, right? So how about this? Re write this subject line in a mean way in a mean way now let's try a mean way now let's go back let's just grab a subject line for uh you gotta see this how about this one no that's that's a different one i'll just go back to this one i was right and uh this is not good for you so let's take this one make sure we copy the whole thing Oops. And come back over here, check GTP right here. Oops. And control print and there. So we write that in a mean way. So guess what? I told you so. And your wrongness just got exposed. Wow, that's pretty mean. So let's let's try it five more times. How about this? Write five more examples. Boom. 
surprise, surprise, I called it, and your wrongness is glaring, right? Oh, look, I was right again. Tough luck for you. Now, if you use these subject lines by themselves and send them in an email, they're totally unique, and you may get people to open email just because of its uniqueness, right? I've never heard nobody talk to me in an email like this, so I'm going to be like, well, wait a minute. Hold on. Let me see what they're talking about, right? <laughs> right? But that's just the power of, I guess, this AI bot, this chat GTP, to help you create content, to help you create subject lines. In regards to content, we always run into, uh, I, we always need ideas for, like, Facebook posts and different posts on Instagram and things like that. So let's try this. How about this? Uh, write an engaging Facebook post. Let's try that. Write an engaging Facebook post. Ready for a roller coaster of excitement? Hold on tight because something, and it lists out this whole long posts, even with all the emoji cons. And really, I mean, you're doing it, you're not even putting any effort. That's like, what, how many minutes it took that to do that? Like a minute for me to talk and then type it out loud, right? But uh, that's how fast you can have content for, for anything. So there's all kinds of different ways. And like I said, you, you use adjectives, right? So let's say, uh, write a short, Hold on. So yeah, so this is an engaging uh, Facebook post, or you can put something else different, like write an um, uh, Facebook post that catches attention. Right. So let's do that. Unleash the extraordinary. Brace yourself. Uh, you've just been stunned, and here's the whole post, and I can say, uh, write five more examples. Boom. And there's one. Unveiling the unseen. Get ready for a revelation that's about to shake up your world. Brace yourself for the extraordinary. It's not the for the faint-hearted, right? I mean, and you can take these and just switch them up, modify them up, massage them a little bit, make them say what you want. But the amazing part is, is that it really doesn't take any effort to come up with a unique post. And you can just try, trial and error. The ones that work, you keep them for future, right? Or you use those and rerun it through. So I could take this and I'm going to say, let's see, let's try this. Rewrite this Facebook post. And I'm going to paste and then I'm going to hit enter. And it's going to rewrite that specific post. And it's going to say, so instead of it saying, hold on to your seats, folks. The stage is set. The curtains are about to rise. It'll say, get ready for an exhilarating ride, everyone. The spotlight is on. The grant. I mean, you can use chat GTP in so many different ways. I'm, I'm a latecomer to the party, I guess. But anyway, <clears throat> that's all I wanted to do is make a quick video showing you how to do that and just throwing some ideas out there. Um, that's all that I got. Talk later.